This question's for you, Patrick Henry, and I consider your whole story more inspirational leadership, as I said earlier. Can you define inspiration in one word in the great English lexicon? This will be a question for Patrick John as well, too. It could be more than one. It could be a phrase. Uh, you know, it's kind of interesting because a lot of people have you know, said that I was inspirational or what have you, but you know, I've always seen myself as just an ordinary guy doing what you know, I feel I should do to be a good, honest, tax-paying citizen or what have you. So yeah. I think maybe that is truly the, uh, the definition of inspiration that I would have. You, know, you do your best at everything and strive to be the best that you can be and expect you know, not really a whole lot in return. Mm -hmm. Patrick John. That's inspirational right there. He took the words out of your mouth. You know, to hear this young yeah. man, yeah. I mean, if anybody, and, and, you know, life hands you lemons, and if anybody has a right, I think, or, you know, would, would, who I could, imp, or I could understand waking right. up and saying, woe is me, mm -hmm. look at the hand I've been dealt. Right. You know, a, a person who is, you know, born without eyes and will never have sight and right. uses a wheelchair for mobility, not that that's a bad thing. No, exactly. But, you know, it's, it's a lot to put on one person, and this young man has never, ever questioned his lot in life. Mm -hmm. uh, he just, he's just Patrick. He's the most comfortable person in his own skin, I think, of anybody I've ever met. And that's, that's all I need, is, is to man, witness that. It. It's, just, it's, yeah. a, it's a remarkable story. It just totally is. Now, this next question we like to ask all of our guests. If someone asked you, this is for Patrick Henry, what does Patrick Henry Hughes stand for? What would you tell them? Mm -hmm. Your own perception of yourself not how someone else sees you, because that might not be suitable for TV. No, I was going to say, <laughs> and, and I don't even know if you know, that answer would really be, because you know, I've never really thought of, uh, of that, so to speak. Cause, sure. You know, basically, uh, shoot, you know, I, I really have, have never really thought of anything, have mm -hmm. thought of that so much, because really I'm just a, a person like everybody else, you know, sure I have my, my good days or whatever, but you mm -hmm. know, behind closed doors, you know, things don't go my way and you know, I'll, I'll get mad, I'll get angry, I'll sure. say some You're things human you, being. you probably wouldn't hear me say in public, right. but uh, you know, just try to, you know, let that pass and then get over it. You get a All shot I can at think it. of is that John Cougar Mellencamp song, you got to stand for something or you'll fall for anything. I like it. And I was trying to think of things, since I go second, I have a little extra time to right, prepare. Right, right. So I was trying to think of something creative over here uh, for what I stand for. But, uh, you know, I don't, I don't know. Well, I'll, I'll, that's something you just don't, you just don't think about. You don't what, think what about it. What do I stand that's, for? That's I, why, that's why you know, I I'm just who I am. We're, we're yeah. who we are. And uh, I'm afraid to say anything because, you know, there's always a chance my wife and other two sons will collaborate on their own book about sure, me right, 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 in future right, years right, right. and refute everything I say. Yeah. Well, anyway. I'm, I'm going to help you guys with this one. Okay. I think it's one word, authentic. I think it's you two are authentic. There's no put on. There's no airs. There's no BS. There's no, there's no attitude. There's no we're special. There's none of this. It's just authentic. And that's Thank you. how I Thank see you. both of you. Very nice. Yeah. You know, there was a, a, the gentleman that helped us write Patrick's book, uh, mm -hmm. Dr. Bryant Stamford. Yep. He talks about when he met Patrick. Patrick has a time to hold it up. He has a, he has a unique way. This is the paperback copy. Am I mm -hmm. holding that right? Yeah, we'll do it. We'll okay. it. But anyway, he, had, he, had a un, he, he said it. Uh, he said Patrick has a unique way of disarming people when he meets them. Mm -hmm. because, because there's something about Patrick when, you, when a person meets him, a, a new person, they, they don't have to put on airs. Patrick doesn't put on any airs, no. and evidently that's something Patrick transfers to other people, uh, and it's been incredible to witness as we, yeah, I'll take, I'll take. as we travel the country and the world. Sure. And you know, after we do our speaking engagements and Patrick performs and we share stories and what have you, uh, we'll do meet and greets afterwards, and, and it's just phenomenal as, a, as a, another human and as a parent as a, and as Patrick's dad to watch people meet Patrick afterwards and, and witness mm -hmm. the, the way that they're moved. I mean, some people are moved. I mean, they, they seem fine in line and they get to Patrick and they hug him and they just melt. Mm -hmm. and, and you just wonder what's, 
what what all is inside of them that he right. brings out to where they can control they can sob uncontrollably just upon meeting him and shaking his hands and 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 I won't I won't get into the stories about the things that people have told me who've met him because they're they're sure. they're just uh, they're knock your socks off type stories mm -hmm. and uh, then there's so many of them right but it's it's really amazing his his ability to to change people. To move them. The, I got to them. share this. Go ahead. The foreword uh, in, in Patrick's book, in our book, uh, I Am Potential, that I was mm -hmm. just holding up, the foreword in there talks about Patrick's performance at a Louisville, West, West Virginia football game. Okay. And it is the, I first saw it in the Courier Journal on Thanksgiving Day 2006. Is that mm -hmm. correct, Patrick? Yeah. Patrick's my living calendar. And I love it. He's, he's so smart. Uh, but anyway, it, it talks about how Patrick changed an entire uh, a stadium full of people really? in a moment. And it's, it's, it's just the greatest story. It's why Dr. Stanford ended up helping us write, write this book uh, because of this story he wrote about Patrick and, and the experience he had mm -hmm. at the, at the at Louisville, the West Virginia game in 2006. That is I, I heartily recommend it. Okay. It's, it's also it's not only it's in the book it's on Patrick's website you can you sure. can Patrick follow the links yeah you can follow the links yeah. to get there and it's free there you and go. it's just a it's a tremendous piece of uh, prose that's unbelievable.